guys, I'm actually going to do something a little bit different here. Um, I picked up this Ambrosia Night Owl um, the other day, yesterday, and I've used it the once so far. So, first off, I'll tell you what it is. So, it is essentially blue light protection, which for myself, I feel like it's something that I should be looking into considering how much time I spend in front of the computer. Um, at work, is like 90% in front of the computer. I get home, I edit videos in front of the computer, you're on your phone, blah, 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 you get it. Um, so basically what this does is helps, well, I'll read it off and see what it says. So it's a blue light shield and evening focus. It says, our eyes are the starting point for the majority of the information we process. The sharper our vision, the better. The bright lights and beautiful images our eyes interpret are worth far more than a thousand words. <laughs> But what if the same lights that fuel our minds with information are also simultaneously destroying our eyes and disrupting our ability to get good, deep, restful sleep? In today's world, we are surrounded by blue light emitting screens and displays. While they do less damage during the day, their effects are particularly damaging at night. So Ambrosia Night Owl is formulated as the first all-natural supplement to directly and meaningfully address the health of our eyes. Utilizing Lutmax 2020 as a natural blue light shield and a precise clinical combination of magtine, brain magnesium, and sun theanine to optimize brain performance and recovery. Ambrosia Night Owl is a must for anyone requiring the most from both their eyes and brain in this digital age. So those three ingredients are listed off there. Um, Magtine, Sun Theanine, and Lumax 2020. I've all researched them, and they all seem like very, very solid ingredients. The only thing would be Lumax 2020, which is the main kind of ingredient for eye health in this, is pretty underdosed. Um, like the studies that showed where it was working really well were like in 20 milligram doses, and this has four milligrams per serving. So. I don't know, I picked it up because of the um, added benefits of like the magtine, magnesium and the L-theanine. Um, yeah, I thought I'd just do some, try something a little bit different. I tried it for the first time yesterday and this is a month supply so I guess this is the uh, first little uh, cut of night hour. See how we go, see if it works, see if I feel like it's improving feel like I'm getting less tension, less headaches, which I do get like towards the end of the day if I'm at work, I've been staring at a screen, I get quite, there's those tension headaches that you get um, where you just feel like you got the strain in your, on your eyes um, and that's due to obviously poor eyesight but I did just get new glasses so the prescription is updated and I can see again so um, yeah there's going to be a different kind of series and I hope this uh, is a good good uh, good use of my uh, 80 bucks so obviously I'm just going to take it as instructed it just says to maximize the benefits of night out take two capsules with a glass of water in the late afternoon between lunch and dinner um, I had my pre-workout meal like two hours ago and I'm about to have my post-workout meal so yeah between lunch and dinner recommended dose timing is between 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. and it's like 5 p.m. now so yeah let's give it a shot Obviously, I'm not going to tell you how they taste or how they mix because they're capsules. So, yeah, straight down the hatch. Anyway, so this is day one. I basically check in with you guys like after 30 days of using this and see if it's improved my uh, tension headaches and whatnot and yeah fingers crossed it wasn't a waste of money till then bye bye all right guys so I basically wanted to go through like the three main ingredients that are in this ambrosia night owl um, so I've already done my studying what whatnot on it but um just to give you guys a bit of context into these ingredients and you know studies gone into them and correct dosages and whatnot magtine or magtine is essentially magnesium so in this instance magtine or magtine however you want to pronounce it um, is the only magnesium compound that has been shown to 
effectively raise the brain's magnesium levels, which leads to enhanced learning abilities, improved working memory, and better short and long-term memory in both young and aged. So unfortunately, the, um, the human study for this is still being conducted, so we don't know the actual human findings, but um, the animal tests have been done, which I don't approve of, but you know, that's how they've um, found their, their info. Um, but yeah, basically, so this magtine or magtime is going to effectively raise the brain's uh, magnesium levels, um, which leads to enhanced learning abilities, um, improved working memory, and better short and long-term memory in both young and aged animals. So compared to most magnesium compounds, this one has much greater bioavailability um, and also doesn't give you any bad gastrointestinal upsets, um, which some others do. So based on the study, one gram twice a day with a meal should be sufficient. Um, obviously the human study will give you a bit more info um, on that. And in this Ambrosia Night How we, we have one gram per, uh, per serving, so that's once a day. So one gram, it's kind of like underdosed on that part. Um, all right, let's move on to some theanine, L-theanine. Okay, so the next ingredient is, yeah, as I said, L-theanine, which is trademarked under sun theanine. And what sun theanine does is promotes an alert state of relaxation without drowsiness, without going into you know the bits and bobs of uh, all the scientific research and whatnot. Basically, the research suggests that 50 to 200 milligrams. Okay, so yeah, the clinical research suggests that about 50 to 200 milligrams of something you need a day um, will help the brain produce more alpha waves, and the alpha waves are associated with a relaxed but alert mental state. So in this Ambrosia Night Owl, we have 150 milligrams, so it's pretty well dosed. Um, it's on the upper end of that dosing. So I like that this is actually being tested on humans. Um, the research suggests that something has the application in improving the quality of sleep that you have, diminishing normal symptoms of premenstrual syndrome, um, not an issue for me, improving learning performance, heightening mental acuity, promoting concentration, and also reducing the negative side effects of having too much caffeine and you know the effects it has on your immune system. Essentially, it's just keeping your stress levels where they should be and yeah, keeps you alert, but keeps you relaxed as well. So, looking forward to see how that one goes with me. And the final ingredient, the uh, Loop Max 2020, which is essentially the the ingredient that's going to help with the eyesight and the blue light protection and whatnot, as I said in the uh, little clip from yesterday. Um, so basically, this Lutmax 2020 contains lutein and zeanthin, and these are not produced by the body. So I just realized it might have been pronounced lutein. So lutein and zeanthin are found in dark green leafy vegetables and yellow to orange fruits and vegetables while the RS zeaxanthin is found in fish such as sun, salmon, sardine and trout. And obviously the, uh, the, uh, the average, average intake of these from you know, these sources of food, they're, they're quite below where they should be. Um, so supplementing, good idea, just to you know, help save your eyes. So basically like the studies done with this were done with, like I said yesterday, um, in doses that were higher than what we see in this Ambrosia Night Out. Um, but I guess yeah today's only like day three so we'll see how we go see if it's improving and I think I'm already seeing like a you know bit of improvement in tension headaches that I'd normally get around this time it's 3 51 p.m. at the moment so I'm probably half an hour away from having my serving for today um, and I'd normally get quite quite a bad like strain like headache strain at this point from being in front of the computer screen and whatnot you know and I'll get home tonight and probably edit and you know watch YouTube learn some things so I can't exactly explain how exactly these uh, ingredients work within the eye and the eye muscles and whatnot but um, yeah that stuff's a bit too too difficult for me to really get my head around but um so 
I'll just read it off from the uh, screen here. Acting as primary filters of high energy blue light, lutine and zeaxanthin isomers support visual health and acuity by protecting against oxidative stress and inflammation. So I don't know if like those tension headaches are from inflammation or what, but uh, yeah. So yeah, that's a bit of info on the uh, ingredients there. Um, I'm about to take my fourth ever serving of it and yeah, keep you guys in the, uh, in the loop. Catch you later. So today actually marks one week of using Night Owl and I can say that I have noticed the uh, tension headaches are, you know, becoming less frequent. Still do get them every now and then, you know, just kind of happens. Um, but yeah, but yeah, I'm about to have my uh, seventh serving of Night Owl and yeah, I hate pills. Always got to chase it. Always got to chase it with that BCAA. Yeah, um, I feel like yeah, like that's the number one thing I've noticed is less tension headaches because of the you know blue light protection. So the two main things I've noticed with the uh, night owl so far is, as I said, less tension tension headaches, and also my stress levels are um, pretty chill, pretty chill. Um, yeah, I've got I've had some pretty big things happening in life recently, and. Um, yeah, I don't feel like I'm cracking the shits and you know being stressed out of my my brain and whatnot. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it's going. So yeah, keep going. Only a week down. Still got three weeks left. So let's get back to it. All right, guys. So this is my uh, last two little capsules whatever you want to call them, of nine hours. So I'm going to take these and let you know my thoughts and how, uh, how I went with them. So let's recap again. Um, so basically, night owl is going to help with you, your eye, eye health, um, blue light protection in particular. Um, I think it has. Like, I feel that when I wake up in the morning, get ready to go to work, you know, you get up, go to the toilet to do business. Occasionally, like, I used to turn on the lights and it feels like, feels like I've gone to hell. But, um, I don't really, I don't feel that anymore, like, with any sudden bright lights. Um, so, it's been good. Like, I don't know really how much more I can say on it. Like, it's probably not worth the price tag considering like I've mentioned in previous clips the ingredients are a little bit underdosed that obviously work well together but um, like it's the it's the loop max 2020 registered trademark um, loop max that really helps with that blue light protection and um, yeah I mean you can just buy that kind of by itself um, but yeah I don't know like I don't know if I'll buy it again um, I'd, see how I go not having it and uh, see if things kind of get worse and um, I feel like I should get back onto it then I will um, but yeah that's uh that's been my take on uh, Ambrosia's Night Owl so thank you for watching this guys this will probably be like the first of uh first of a few kind of like in-depth reviews of like me trialing products that I've never really used before so um yeah once again thank you for watching and if you're new here make sure you subscribe Leave this video a like, drop a comment if you like, if there's any uh, particular products you want to see me do. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Catch you later.